Thank you for clicking through to this video, which is my number 12 of 12 and why stale fuel can cause bog down. I have uploaded the full 12 reasons in a crash course, but I've listed them separately just to make things a little easier. And that leads me on nicely to my very last cause of bog down, and that's stale fuel. Now, the whole issue of stale fuel can be somewhat controversial. Some people say that fuel can go stale in a short amount of time. Some people say it lasts much longer. But in my personal opinion, anything over four to six weeks, and we really need to be replacing the fuel. That's just my own experience. But that said, I have used fuel in the past, which I know is far older than that, and it's still been OK. But then I've used other fuel that's been around six weeks old, and it's been absolutely a waste of time. And that's why the subject of fuel is so controversial, because other people have had the similar experiences as I've had. And generally, it just leads to confusion. But for many years now, and because I've had many years of experience with this, I do make a habit of never keeping my fuel, untreated fuel that is, for anything more than six weeks at a time. I just find that I always have machines that are running so much better and I know that I'm giving them the best kind of fuel I can give them if you like. But let's just have a look at why we need to keep the fuel fresh. If we could just have x-ray vision now and look into this can. So we've got the fuel at the bottom here in red of course and what tends to happen is from the minute we go and fill the fuel can up from the fuel station the reactive part of the fuel because it has two general parts the reactive parts that we can see there start to evaporate and as it evaporates and evaporates over time it starts to leave behind the non-reactive substance or rather the less reactive substance but in any case, evaporation starts to take place and there's nothing we can do about that. And as you can see now, the state of the fuel, it starts to go thick and more like a gum. And what's left behind is something that's not as combustible as it was when we first bought it. Because as we can see there, all the reactive component of that fuel is now gone. So the octane rating, if you like, isn't as high. And so combustion won't take place as efficiently without that reactive component. There are ways to combat this, like keep the fuel tank cap nice and tight to make it last as long as possible. That's something that I hear some people have had success with. And when we fill the cans full of fuel, it's apparently best to fill them to the top, particularly if we're storing them for a while. So there's no space here at the top, because if there's space here, then there's space for the reactive substance to evaporate into. And of course, we don't want that, but filling this gap is supposed to reduce the evaporation. Now, one method I always use, and this is something I, I do sing praises about, is to use a fuel stabilizer. They're cheap enough, you can get them off the internet, and you can put a good fuel stabilizer into the can with the fuel and keep it fresh for up to two years. And I find that the best way of storing fuel. And stale fuel, by the way, is an odd one for me. In the past, I've used stale fuel and it's caused bog down in my machines. And on other occasions, I've used stale fuel and it's caused flooding. So that's why I've put that down as a cause for bog down, because in the past it has caused that for me. And I just attribute the reasons for that as because there's less combustion ability of the fuel, if you like, because its goodness has evaporated away and left behind that gum. So thank you so much for watching this video, which was the last in the bog down series of videos I have and which was number 12 of 12 and please do check out my other videos. Thank you for watching.